Hello YouTube, this is PSP Hacker AOD here and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up a car radio inside your house using a computer power supply. This happens to be a old one I had laying around. Um, for some weird reason this thing stopped working somewhat. I don't know, it kind of works now but sometimes it doesn't so I swapped out my computer and got this broken one kind of laying around. And this right here is my Pioneer AVIC Z110BT which I just got in the mail the other day I ordered online got it for a pretty good price this is the current flagship model of from Pioneer um, I guess there's gonna be something else coming out soon uh, that's supposed to be better or it's more of an updated version of this anyway so first off you're gonna see power supply right here you're gonna look for the green wire on it which on mine it happens to be in the big harness right here which it probably will be in yours mine's the fourth pin in and what I'm gonna do basically is I'm gonna stick a wire in the correct slot up here matching where it is down here for the green and then I'm gonna connect it to the black one next to it now you can connect the green to any black one because basically the blacks are all ground and the green is basically like the switch so it triggers it and on um, most power supplies there or some there's like a switch to turn on off back here Make sure it's off. Mine doesn't have it, so mine's currently unplugged. So I'm going to attach that really quick. Okay, so I attached those two together. I just put a piece of tape over it to make it hold so it doesn't fall out. Proper way would be to splice the wires or whatever, but I don't really want to splice the power supply because, I don't know, I might use it again for something else. Who knows? Anyway, so now when I plug it in, it'll turn on because the green and the black wire are connected. Any black will work. Then you're going to go to the back of your your um, radio and you're going to look for the main wire harness. Mine happens to tell you what the wires are on these little tags all over it. If not, look in the owner's manual for your radio or you can look it up on the internet. Pretty sure the manufacturer's website will show it. Anyway, I already kind of tapped into these wires. I didn't want to... I just like twisted them together and I put a piece of tape over them because I'm going to install this in my truck later and I wanted to not um, attach anything and have to clip all the wires shorter than they are already so basically you're gonna tap into the accessory power the 12 volt battery power and the ground which is the black one right here on my radio I um, I did the bypass on this so that I can watch uh, videos while driving and I wouldn't recommend doing that because it's not legal but you can do it just don't uh, drive with it. Anyway, so I got the pin out for this because there's a bypass on this radio. There's a pin. I cut it along the edge so the pin would come out because it was too big of a pain in the ass to pull the pin out the other way that people were showing it. And I just moved it one slot over and plugged it in. So now it works. And basically I grounded the new w the wire that we moved. I grounded that along with the parking brake all into the main ground here and it comes down to one of these little wires I have landed around here anyway so then now that I have that I can plug in plug that in behind the radio right here and I can plug the other the power wires right in there and the other ones on here are like speakers and like illuminations and stuff like that but I'm not hooking that up but um, for speakers right now for demonstration purposes I plugged in some RCAs and I have them going to the stereo over here behind me so we should get some sound from it and basically now we're gonna look on our power supply for one of these connectors right here and you see you have a red and a yellow and a black the yellow is a uh, 12 volt and the blacks are ground the red are like 5 volts or something lower you only need to use the yellow and the black so basically um, what you're going to do is on mine this wire right here is my constant 12 volt because I attached a little extra piece of wire to it so I'm going to take the longest one here kind of a pain in the ass to do this with one hand but set this down here alright and basically just going to slide the wire right in the connector it this one is my uh, 12 volt, so I'll slide it in to there. I'm going to cut for a sec so I can do it. Alright, now that you got the 12 volt wire in there, you're going to want to take your ground wire from... Normally your ground wire is black, but I added a little extension onto it, and I had red laying around, so 
I got a red ground. You're going to plug that into the pin on here that's going to be black. So you got your 12 volt constant or the yeah, the 12 volt battery wire and you're going to have the ground plugged into a black next to it. All right. So now it should look like this. Got your yellow connected to my um power, red connected to my black for ground. Now it's safe to take this and plug it in. Or I shouldn't say safe because you didn't really splice any of the wires. If you had a switch, you wouldn't switch it on yet, but I'm doing that on mine. It's not on yet, the radio, because now i got to take the accessory power wire, which is right here, and plug it into another one of these yellow slots on another pin. You can do it on the same one if you're splicing all together. I'm not, so I'm just doing it this way. Alright, one sec. Alright, so the second I plugged that in for the accessory, it made the radio turn on, just like when you turn the key on your car, it'd come on. Custom little boot screen I threw on there, it's nothing great, it was just to test it. Made that in paint really quick, gonna put something better later. Anyway, so the radio's on, and click home on this. Let's go for some music, we'll just flip on the radio for right now. Does it have any presets on here? Apparently not because I unplugged it so it doesn't remember anything. Um, we don't have an antenna plugging right now, but we're going to take just this piece of wire that came with it, set it down here, jam the wire in the antenna slot, and should get some sound. So, got that going now. So. Now you're free to hook up whatever you want to your car radio in your house. And... Fancy. And this radio also has um, navigation. So, I don't have the antenna plugged in yet, but I'll do that really quick. Alright, plug that in. Um, let's see if I can see the map really quick. I'm not going to show you because it's probably going to show where I am right now, so give me a sec. Alright, I just moved it somewhere random. See all the map stuff. play around with it. Got your custom shortcut screen you can set. And then here's the regular shortcut screen. Pretty cool. And yeah.